everybody welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing an eye makeup tutorial and a real quick everyday kind of contour that I that I do and that I just started doing with the powder I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit and the shade light to medium and I really like the cream and I would mix it with like a little bit of argon oil to give it that nice, cream, smoothie, easy way to blend kind of feel. But I recently picked up, I do want to spend all kinds of money and Ulta was having a sale. So I recently picked up this Ulta Contour Powder Kit, which I really like. And it even came with this nice little the page in the back that says get the look for medium skin tone and also get the look for fair skin for a contouring and it's just like a little tip sheet and this is what it looks like inside and now that I like the powder contour I'm going to go buy a much more expensive one tomorrow and then I will show you guys all that tutorial so inside it has six nice shades for your contour, a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush shade. I really like it. I think it's really nice, especially for a beginner contour if you can't spend too much money. I think it was, oh, it was $18. It says it right here on the back. And I got this. It was like by... I think if you spend like $20 in Ulta products, you got like a free, what did I get? I think I got like a free little gift bag. It was really cool. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's what our video is about today. And if you like my video, please subscribe, like, comment, share, do what you gotta do. And if you don't like my videos, then please don't, please don't watch me. There's no reason for you to watch me if you don't like me. And just to send that hate vibe my way. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is prime the face. And I've already washed my face, so my face is really nice and clean. And today we're going to be mixing between two primers. We're using the Stay Matte Primer in the shade 003 by Rimmel London. And we're also using the NYX Photo Loving Primer. And this is so amazing. It leaves my face so smooth. I love it. Okay, except for it can get kind of watery, so you just want to kind of make sure before you squeeze it on yourself. I squeezed it out, I say like three days ago, my boyfriend was sitting next to me and I squirted him with it. So yeah, be careful of that. So I just kind of make little lines on my face at first, and then I'm going to get my Stay Matte Primer because this leaves it kind of more like a shiny shade. Uh shiny look not shade and I just go over the same places as one before and also sorry also all the products that I'm using in this video will be linked below in the description and it will say the product name the price and where you can get it okay so then I just start rubbing in and I start with my t-zone first I always start with my T-zone because that's the part that's a little bit more oily. So you always want to get that nice and going first. So that way you kind of rub it in and get it like that more tacky feel. So that way you can prevent it from getting oily. Okay. We well, got some of my hair. But that's okay. Okay. And I always like to let my primer set for about one to two minutes just so that way it gets kind of dry. So that way I can start putting my makeup on. It doesn't just feel like cakey. Okay, so then we're going to be going in with the Sonia Kashuk um, eye primer shade. And this is in the shade Ivory, I believe. Yeah, Extreme Wear Eye Primer. And I was living by the Urban Decay eye primer potion for like two years maybe but I just picked up this one probably like a month ago and I'm really liking them 
I really like her products, some of them, as I would say. The concealer for me is too, too, too light. Um, at first, I did not like this product. I felt like it made it really hard to blend, but with a little bit of argan oil that I live by from Tarte, it is pretty good, I would want to say. Okay, so just kind of kick it on there. Not kick it, but spread it on your lid. Okay. I like to get my finger kind of wet, and then I just wet it out. Okay. And that NYX primer gives like a really nice feel underneath this primer. Underneath this eyeshadow primer, it gives it a really nice smooth feel. So that also eliminates the like stickiness. Okay, sorry, I just like to clean my brushes in between. Oh, now we're gonna close that up. And then we're gonna go in with just a regular long eyelid brush. I mean eyeshadow lid brush. Okay, before we move on, how cute is this stinking holder? Like, oh my god. How cute is that? It was actually a plan holder and I just thought it would be so cute for my brushes. I'm always finding new things to put my brushes in and I just like was to die for that. Okay. So the first, our base color is going to be out of the BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. I love this palette. I love it. It's okay. And we're going to be taking, and it's a six shade palette. So we're going to be taking this nice kind of cream nude color right here in the bottom with our like eyeshadow brush. Okay, and then just stop putting it on there. That NYX Photo Love and Primer makes a big difference with these kind of eye eyeshadow primers. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay. All right. So now we're going to be taking our Urban Decay Vice Four palette. Hold on. I have to okay. okay. So we're going to be taking the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, and this is going to be, we're going to be taking our transition color out of this palette. Oops, actually I lied. We're not taking our transition color just yet. Okay, not all that palette anyways. We're going to be taking our transition color out of this small Morphe palette, and we're going to be taking this nice mocha color right here on top with just a crease brush. Actually, we're gonna use a much tighter crease brush. We're gonna use this one right here from LAB2. I'm turning pro crease brush. Okay, so we're just gonna be taking a very light amount on our crease brush. Crease brush, dusting it off and starting in our outer corner into the inner corner in a circular and windshield wiper motions. With your transition shade, you always want to start lighter because you could always build that, but it's harder to take away. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to deepen that up just a tad bit. Smooth it out. Okay. And now to another eye. Sorry, my nose is really kind of stuffy, if you can tell from being sick, so dust it off. 
start in our outer corner, circular motions into our inner corner and windshield wiper motions. So this is Okay, make sure they're both even. All right. And then I just kind of like to take a fluffier brush and I just kind of like to go through it again really fast. Just to make sure that they're all perfectly even. Okay, hold on, sorry. One second. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to be going into our Vice 4 palette. And we're going to be taking a crease brush, a fluffy crease brush. And we're going to be taking the color Bitter, which is right down here in our right hand corner. And we're going to be just taking a nice crease brush. And again, this is out of the Vice 4 palette by Urban Decay, and the color is Bitter. Again, all the colors that I'm using in this palette will be listed below. So we're just going to be taking a nice amount on the brush. And then we're going to dab it. Dust it off. Dust it off. And we're going to start on our outer corner. Circular, mo with circular motion. And then we're going to transition into windshield wiper motions to our inner corner. So start with a very light hands because if you go harder on then it's gonna look caked on if you know what I mean okay what you like for motions back to circular make sure we're on the upper crease circular okay so then we're going to switch to our other eye. And we're going to repeat the same exact concept. Remember again, light hand, circular motion, windshield wiper motions. Light hand. For some reason, I just wanted to bring it up a little bit more, kind of deepen it up, and I'm just going to add a little bit more of that better color. Okay, and then we're going to be taking a flat, nice flat crease brush, and on this brush, we're going to start kind of shaking it a little bit, so we're going to start from the corner of our eye, and we're going to start going up. And then up to our brow bone. And curve it in. <laughs> okay. Dust our brush off. Repeat. Okay. So then we're going to be going in with our same flat crease brush. And we're going to be taking the color. We're going back to our small Morphe palette. And we're going to be taking this nice deep red color right here in the middle of the palette. And this is the O2E15 palette. Okay, and then we 
have some on our brush. And we're gonna dab it off. And we're just gonna start in our outer corner with this shade. And then we're going to repeat to our other side. Start in our outer corner. And then we're just going to be taking a nice, tight, small crease brush. If I could find it. Really? We're just going to be taking it. We'll be using this other one then. And this is by It Cosmetics. And it's the Airbrush Crease C5087. And then we're just going to be kind of sweeping out our crease a little bit. Just to deepen it up. Okay. Just to deepen up our crease. Sorry, I have my TV remote in my hand. Okay, and again, and there we go. And then, okay, <laughs> now we're going back to our Vice 4 palette. Okay, now we're going to be going back to our Vice 4 palette. I know. See, I told you it was right in front of my face, the exact brush I was looking for. Well, since I found it, I'll just go over the crease anyways. Can never blend out too much anyways, so there we go. And this is a Sonia Kashik crease brush number 116. Okay, so then we're going to be going in with our Laura Geller brush. I think this, can I remember exactly what brush it was, but it was a double sided brush. Okay, and we're going to be taking the color Flame mixed with the color Fastball. And it's these two shades right here. And again, we're taking the Laura Dollar brush. 
Okay. So we're first we're going to be taking the color flame. And this is our lid color. Dust it off and start on our lid. You're going to stay kind of low with this color. So I'm going to be going in with another brush. And with this um, particular kind of eyeshadow, because it's more shimmery, kind of flossy eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be taking the same brush I used to put concealer on. Not concealer, uh, my eyeshadow primer. This is just going to help it stay a lot more. So make sure we get it all over our lid. Okay, and then repeat to the other side. You want to kind of damp brush for this step. Okay. Sorry, I kind of messed it up, so I'm going to be taking my Posh Dual Ended Foundation and Conceal Brush, and I'm taking the Conceal Set. Just to clean it up. Okay, now I'm going back in with the same brush that I used for my concealer. Just going right over this. Okay. Right. Now I'm taking my Posh Foundation and Conceal Brush and using the Conceal side and then I'm going to be going in with the color Fastball. And we're just going to be going right over that shade. And then we're going to be going right back over with the same fastball shade with just a fluffy crease brush. Okay. And then we're just going to be taking our fluffy crease brush. And this is our shade and blend brush from LAB2. Okay. Now we're just going to kind of blend it and blend it up. Okay. 
and then we're going to be going in with our voluptuous volume mascara from Ulta. And then we're just going to be taking this nice liner brush and we go in with our small Morphe palette again. And just run in the same brown shade underneath our lid. And then taking that same red color, kind of like a maroon. And we're taking the same mascara and just putting it on our lower lash. There is our eyeshadow tutorial. You, you could also put a new, wear this with a nude lip, which I will probably going to do later on, but I'm not going to put a, a lip on right now because it's 11.30 uh, at night and I'm about to go to bed. So I'm going to wash my face and take this makeup off, but this was our makeup tutorial featuring the Vice 4 palette. In my next video, we'll be featuring the Ulta Contouring Palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Everybody have a wonderful day, and thank you so much.